Bo Okunronquo uh, talked about why he chose the Browns uh, in free agency. This from the best podcast available. Just all the young talent on this team, you know, um, from top to bottom, this roster stacked um, offense, defense. You know, I just saw a great opportunity, you know, um, also being able to just uh, play with, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. You know, uh, it was it, it just on paper. It looked amazing with playing on the opposite side of Miles Garrett, you know, uh, it just it was too it was too good of an offer to pass. What's it been like so far with Miles? I, I know that he's been here for a little bit on and off, but uh, your interactions with him? Oh, he's a super cool guy. You know, uh, he uh, he loves the game. Uh, he's he's probably somewhere training right now. You know, um, the guy he's a freak of nature. You know, he can do a lot of stuff that I'll never be able to do. You know, <laughs> you know. I don't say that. I, mean, I don't know. About I mean, that. I'm just really, I'm really excited to to play for uh, play alongside him. You know, he's a really cool dude. I'm um, ready to learn a lot from him. What about Jim Schwartz? What stands out uh, so far through the offseason program? Uh, his energy. You know, he's the same guy every day. Um, he loves the game. He he wants us to play with our hair on fire. He's gonna allow us to. He he literally told us to take the seatbelt off and go play football. So so that's fun. Well, that, let's welcome in Jackson McCurry from the Dogland and Top Dogs podcast. Um, Jackson, Okunronquo is one of the guys I'm really anxious to see how Jim Schwartz uses because of his versatility. Yeah, me too. He was my favorite um, acquisition during the free agency process, and uh, I thought he was going to be a nice number two alongside Miles Garrett. Now you're looking at him as a number three alongside Miles and Zadarius Smith, so it gives you more, like you said, versatility, more flexibility on that defensive line to where you can rotate guys in and out. But, I mean, he said all the right things. The Browns are look like a great team on paper he gets to play alongside miles garrett and zadarius smith gets to play under a great coach in jim schwartz i'm really anxious to see what okoronko can do uh this coming season and for the next couple years with the browns defense the other thing is is um i think some fans are are concerned that you know well he's not going to be playing as many snaps on the defensive line if you can stay fresher and healthier um, the offensive line is, they're not going to be subbing in. So, you know, that half step is going to make, it makes a difference late in the third quarter and in the fourth quarter. Yeah, absolutely. I think you've seen teams like Philadelphia and other defenses that have had multiple options on the defensive line and be able to rotate guys in and out. I think that's what helps make these defenses great, especially late in the season and into the postseason, is that you'll be able to keep guys fresh. You know, we've talked about it for years since Miles uh, Garrett got drafted. He's played a lot of snaps. Now he's going to be able to be fresh, like you said, late in the third quarter, into the fourth quarter, in those crucial moments in the game where we need him to make an impact play. He's going to be fresh enough to do so. And not only him, but Zadarius Smith and even Okoronkwo as well.